Hi, I'm Shakira Sanchez, and I'm the Brickle Territory Manager, and this is Brickle in 5 Minutes. Not only do I manage the neighborhood, but I also live in Brickle myself, and I absolutely love it. The Brickle neighborhood is actually categorized into a few different pieces. Each one, of course, has different lifestyle options and obviously different buildings. The three sections for Brickle are South Brickle, New Brickle, and Brickle Key. We'll start off with South Brickle. This is everything south of Southeast 15th Road on Brickle Avenue, also known as Millionaire's Row. But more importantly, these are all of the Bayfront buildings with beautiful views. This neighborhood is also a little bit more residential, more family oriented, and has larger floor plans. New Brickle is everything north of Southeast 15th Road. And this is where you've seen a lot of the new office towers that are going to be built, a lot of the newer condo buildings filled with tons of amenities, and of course, all of the delicious restaurants, shopping options, and just great walkability. Then we have Brickle Key. This has a special place in my heart because Brickle Key is the perfect combination between a suburban neighborhood and a condo market. There are only 11 condo towers on the island and absolutely every single one has a beautiful view, whether it be of the city skyline or of the water. So Brickle is known as Wall Street of the South, but it's not just about business. There's tons of food options and shopping options, and we have two main entertainment venues. One is Brickle City Center, where you'll find delicious restaurants and incredible shopping options. And just down the street, about two blocks away, you have Mary Brickle Village. And again, delicious restaurants right at your footsteps. So if you value being able to go downstairs, grab a quick bite, walk to work, New Brickle could be a very good option. If you like the slower pace of life, but still relatively close to everything within walking distance, South Brickle and Brickle Key are two very good contenders. Let's talk about the numbers. The three neighborhoods perform a little differently, but surprisingly enough, the fact that South Brickle and Brickle Key are predominantly filled with end users or primary homeowners, it's less volatile and has been able to hold its value very well. The average price per square foot in South Brickle is around $600 and the average price per square foot in Brickle Key is around $613 a square foot. New Brickle is still performs a little bit higher, but not by that much. It actually has about an average price per square foot of $685. So although it's newer, this neighborhood does tend to attract more of the investor class, thus making it a little bit more volatile during different peaks of the cycle. So these are just the average numbers, but if you wanna get more granular, we have reports that can help, but I will mention that some of the buildings, regardless of their age, actually outperform newer buildings. Santa Maria is a very good example. This is a building that was done in 97, but still to this day has an average price per square foot of $900, which is very good. This building is located in South Brickell, has much larger floor plans, and one of the perks about living in South Brickell is that you are on the opposite side of the bridges, which tend to go up multiple times a day and can cause a little bit of congestion with traffic. Another great option is also Brickle Flatiron. It was actually built by the same person as Santa Maria and has been able to be an incredible addition to the neighborhood. This was done in 2019 and the average price per square foot is around $800 to $900 a square foot and has all of the amenities you could even ask for. As you continue to preview some of these properties, if you have any questions or want to know more about how each building performs, we've actually had a in-house condo software called Condo Geeks. It's tracked the performance of every building for the last 17 years. But as you continue to preview some properties around the neighborhood, and if you have any questions, I invite you to give us a call and we're here to help you. Thank you for watching.